Hello everyone, it is day 18 of Vlogmas. I'm dressed like this because I'm being forced to go work out with my father. So, I'll see you in a few hours if I'm still alive. If I'm not alive, this is what I last looked like. Bye bye. Hi everyone. Okay, so it is day 19 right now. This is what I'm wearing. It's my super comfortable outfit for going Christmas present shopping. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Marley, are you excited? Are you excited? Thank you for acknowledging me. Acknowledging my existence. Up here. Up here. I'm up here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you. Anyways, I'm going Christmas present shopping. First place I'm going is Hobby Lobby, and then I'm going to go to Petco to get Marley little Christmas presents. And I'm super excited because most of my presents I'm making myself this year. So that's why I have to go to Hobby Lobby and buy a bunch of stuff. But it's going to be super exciting, so let's go. Hey guys, so we just got back from shopping, and super fun thing happened, obviously. A lot of fun. Um, I tried to get into my car so I could leave Tiger Town when I was done shopping. Car would not work car would not turn on so my dad had to come jump off my car and then he had to drive my car all the way over to the car place to see if we can figure out what happened to it I tried to explain to the guy what happened and he said that my car is haunted so that is a good sign that's a pretty good sign so I do not have a car and I will not have a car for the next two weeks that's what it sounded like pretty much so I have my father's car here for me if I ever need to use it so that'll be very exciting. And see all that on the floor? Those are all the things that I bought. All the wonderful things that are gifts or gifts that are waiting to be made. So even though I'm super frustrated with my car's lovely life, I'm going to go try to make some of those things. So you can come with me to do that. And again, I apologize that my hair looks like this. Please explain to me why it looks like this. I don't know. I can't explain it. And I have on zero makeup because I just went to go shopping. Didn't expect to see anyone I knew. Saw lots of people I knew, but it's fine. So we're just going to pretend like it didn't happen. And we're going to pretend like I don't look like this in the video. And we're just going to keep going with life. So it'll be great. Okay, hello everyone. My thing's not focusing. Not even a little bit focused. Okay, close enough, whatever. Um, I thought I'd kind of take you through my process a little bit because this is all I'm doing for the rest of the day, so you might as well see something interesting. But, yes, I'm listening to Christmas music, Christmas pentatonics right now because it makes me happy. But basically the first thing that I always do is just take a pencil and sketch out what it's going to be. So these are the words that I'm doing, and this is for my grandmother. So it's the even so as well with my soul. So I thought that was fitting and it was cute and everything. So I have my pens right there and I'm going to do the outline completely in black over the pencil. And then do all the different shadings like where some sides of the letter like right here for instance is going to be like thicker than right there. You know just like for the depth and everything. And then I have my, um, my lovely watercolor right there. And I'm going to do just like you can tell that they're kind of shaped in a circle almost. So I'm doing just like watercolor designs around the circle that I thought would be really pretty. And I found almost like, I found something that was like pretty watercolor online. So I'm kind of going to do something that looks similar to that. So that's usually what I do when it comes to watercolor unless I already have something like perfect in mind. But just for this, since it is, it's like a gift, I didn't really have anything perfect in mind. So I found something that was super pretty watercolor. So I'm going to do something kind of similar but not the same color scheme like that kind of thing you know so I'm about to do the marker and then I'll do watercolor and then I will show you the final outcome Marley are you gonna help me paint you want to help me paint yeah yeah I want to help me paint too you do <laughs> come here come here what are you doing you're not even let me pet you right now? Oh, you're mm -mm, in, in attack mode. That's what I feel. Oh, okay. So much love. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you for that. You're going to lay, like, four feet away from me, but you're not going to pet me. Or let me pet you. 
It's okay. I still love you. Okay, so I finished outlining it, as you can tell. And you can kind of see that it gave it a lot more depth, like with the difference between the letters and the focus and shape. It almost looks like it's angled a certain way, you know what I mean? But I really like the way it looks right now, and I'm so excited to do this outline around it. You can kind of see more of the circle shape now that it's darker. It's easier to tell where that's going to be. But it's basically going to be like watercolor, like flowers and stuff, like all the way around the outside just so it wouldn't be so plain. But I really am happy about how it has turned out so far. So there are my watercolors, and I would say I'm about to get started, but my mother has to go to Sam's, and she forgot her Sam's card, so I have to go look for it, and I have to go bring it to her, which I'm going to not change at all. Probably not even going to put on shoes. I'm just going to find it and run over there real quick, and then I will be back to work on this. Okay, so the next thing I have done is I penciled out everywhere that I'm going to do my watercolor. You probably can't see too well, but like, they're just little design flower type things all the way around it just like so so that's what it's going to look like and then I'm going to use probably pinks and greens maybe like more like neutral like pastel type we'll just see how it goes we're trying to figure it out but that's the next thing I do I pencil it out before I watercolor which and usually you're supposed to erase pencil before you use watercolor but like I don't know usually I do but I'm thinking this is kind of more of an intricate thing that I kind of need the pencil there, so we might see how it goes trying to erase afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so this is the final product. Look, I did the watercolor on all the flowers. There's my nice little initial that freaking smeared because I thought it was dry. Not dry. Always be cautious. That's not a word. Always take caution when rubbing it black because sometimes it's not dry, like then. But at least it isn't like too noticeable, so we're not going to worry about trying to fix it because usually when I try to fix things, it makes it worse. So we're just going to leave it. I don't think it looks too bad. Actually, it looks really bad. But you know what? We're just not going to worry about it because there's nothing I can do, and anything I try to do will make it worse. So we'll just pretend like it didn't happen. But anyways, here it is, all the flowers. I really like the way it turned out a lot. I think my grandmother's going to love it. And here are all my messy watercolors that I did but it was very very worth it and i'm so excited so that is all i have for day 19 because it actually took me a super long time to do this so i'm probably going to take a shower and go to sleep now but it's fine so i will see you guys tomorrow and merry christmas